TS of monocot root or arm root. Study of transverse section of monocot root or arm. Transverse section of a monocot root, especially or arm, shows the following tissue arrangement from periphery to the center. First, epiblema. Look at this diagram. It is single layered, composed of parenchymata cells and some of epiplema cells give rise to unicellular root hair. Cuticle is absent. Next to epiplema, there is cortex. Cortex is white, made of thin walled parenchymata cells, presence of intercellular spaces. Next to cortex is endodermis. Endodermis is the innermost layer of the cortex. It is single layered, composed of a layer of barrel shaped parenchymata cells. Cells are thin walled. Cells of the endodermis possess special thickening in their radial and tangential wall. Such thickening is called Casparian band. Next, stele. The central portion of the tissue encircled by endodermis is called stele. It consists of the following. First, pericycle. It occurs just beneath the endodermis. This layer consists of a single layer of parenchymata cells, thin walled cells, to vascular bundles. Vascular bundles consist of alternating stands of xylem and phloem. So, vascular bundle is radial. Number of xylem and phloem strands are more than six. So, vascular bundle is poly arc. Xylem is X arc. That is proto xylem oriented towards exterior and meta xylem towards the interior. In between two xylem strands there is phloem. Xylem consists of tracheid, trachea and xylem parenchyma. Phloem consists of strip tube, companion cell and phloem parenchyma. Third, pith. It occupies the central portion of the stele. It is composed of loosely arranged parenchymata cells without intercellular spaces. The pith is fairly large. Look at this diagram. TS of monocot root, that is oram root. Epidermis is marked with arrow sign EP and we find here some epidermal cells give rise unicellular root hair. Cortex portion is marked with arrow sign and identified by capital C and central portion of the tissue which is called stele and outermost layer of the cortex that is endodermis is marked by arrow sign and identified as capital E and small d. Central portion of the stele which is called pith marked with arrow sign identified as capital P and here we find in between two xylem strands, there is phloem tissue marked with pH and 
you find meta xylem marked or identified by capital M and proto xylem is marked with capital P. This diagram also shows stele. Here endodermis is marked with capital EN and pericycle that occurs just beneath the endodermis marked here with arrow sign by capital P and E and cortex is marked here by capital C. Look here, stele is clearly visible central portion of the stele that is called pith here marked with P and then xylem strand meta xylem is identified here by capital M and proto xylem is marked here by PR and phloem strand is clearly visible here just see at the left hand side they are marked with PH that is in between two xylem strands phloem cells are present and cortex portion is marked here with arrow signs by capital C. Stilly microscopic image of a stilly meta xylem is identified or marked as 1, 2, proto xylem, 3, pith and 4, endodermis. Video clip of a TS of Aramlu taken from microscope under low power. Cortex and stele are well differentiated. Components of stele such as meta xylem, proto xylem, phloem, pith and endodermis are clearly now, visible. Identifying features. One, epiblema is without cuticle and contains unicellular root hairs. Cortex is white and made up of parenchymata cells with plenty of intercellular spaces. Third, number of xylem and phloem strands are more than 6. 4. Vascular bundle is radial and poly arc. 5. Xylem is X arc. 6. Presence of large pith.